beautiful people. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do one of my favorite ever makeup looks, Victoria's Secret model makeup. So I actually did this makeup about, I feel like it was like a year and a half ago now, and it went kind of viral, but I never did a full in-depth tutorial. So I thought I'd come on here today. Now I've got my YouTube channel and do a full in-depth tutorial. Honestly, I just feel like this makeup looks 10-10 on everyone. It suits everyone. It's just so flattering, so stunning. And yeah, so if you want to look like a Victoria's Secret angel, keep on watching. Ooh, that was cringe. <laughs> First is hair. I've just washed and blow dried my hair. I just used the Dyson. I've like roughly blow dried it, so it's not 100% dry. I also used this Beauty Works heat protectant and this Kerastase Frizz Serum. This serum is one of my new favorite discoveries. Like my hair used to be so frizzy when I blow dried it. No, it's not. It's actually sensational. And now I'm going to use the two long curling attachments on the Dyson and basically just do like some big blown out bouncy curls. Okay, so I like to separate my hair into a few sections just kind of to make it easier. The key with this is you want to make sure the curls are going away from your face on either side. I do hot for 10 seconds and then cold for about five seconds. And then I release it. And there you go, you just want to repeat this all over your head. I'm just leaving these curls, I'm not touching them or brushing them out, I'm leaving them to sit like that for a bit. And when I go onto the other side, we're changing attachments so that the curls are always facing away from your face. Splitting off for the next section, I usually do about three sections. Obviously it depends how thick your hair is. Also guys, this hairstyle will definitely work if you don't have a Dyson. You do not have to have one of these. In fact, I actually don't recommend you purchase one of these if you haven't already, because this is like 600 pound. And yeah, it's good, but it's not sensational. Like you can definitely get the same effect with a normal curling iron. So don't worry if you don't have a Dyson, just copy what I do with a normal curling iron. You'll still get the same results. So as you can see, I've curled my whole head, except for this front little section. And this is really important. So. With this, what you want to do is split it in two. And then I'm going to switch the attachment on my Dyson to basically just a blow dry brush like this. Blow dry this section backwards. I'll show you how I do it. I'm grabbing a roller, a fairly big one like this. And while it's still hot, I'm going to wrap. Oh, my Dyson just fell on the floor. Wrap this roller in my hair like that wrap it and then i'm just going to take a grip to secure that and there you go that's the finished hairstyle i'm joking <laughs> we're going to do the exact same thing to this front bit you really want to focus it at the root as well so i basically wrap it around like this and then just keep twisting it down make sure you're getting right to the root because that's what's going to create the most volume in your hair which is exactly what we want okay and then we're going to take a bit of a smaller roller Make sure you've got every little bit of hair on there. Let's clip it in place. And there you go. Okay, so on to makeup. We're gonna start with a fresh, clean skin. I've just cleansed my face using the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser, and then I just put on my Nivea Moisturizer. And then we're gonna hydrate everything, basically. So first, lip balm. This is my new obsession. It's the Fenty Skin, I think it's a lip mask. Um, but oh, it's called Plush Pudding Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. It's so hydrating and I love how it comes out the top. To hydrate the skin, I'm going to go in with this Lancome Hydrazen Gel Cream. Love this because it's gel so it doesn't like sink into your pores. It's really nice under makeup. Okay, I think I might have used a bit too much. My face is literally slimy. <laughs> so now for a bit of a glowy base, I'm going to use the Say star glow glowy super gel it's like a primer and a base product that just adds the most beautiful iridescent glow to the skin can you see that glow it's just beautiful we're going to use one of my favorite skin tints of all time it's the l'oreal true match plumping tinted serum i'm kind of in between these two shades two to three light okay i just picked up the same shade hang on <laughs> I'm in between these two shades two to three light and four to five medium so i'm going to mix these both Using a brush, we're going to mix these together and press this into the skin. I feel like a skin tint is perfect for this makeup because it's not too heavy and it looks like your skin and that's what we want because Victoria's Secret Angels just seem to have the most perfect natural looking skin. Also, I know I say this all the time, but make sure you're pressing and not rubbing into the skin, especially when we've put down quite a few glowy base products. 
because that's just going to make sure to not disturb them and keep the base super glowy and smooth. And then for a little bit of spot concealing, this is honestly the perfect combination because I feel like the skin tint is just going to even out your skin tone and then you can go over with spot concealing with any of your blemishes. This is one of my faves, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Take this on a small dense brush and it literally just spot conceal wherever I have any blemishes. So I have a few spots on my chin, just going to press that concealer right on there. I always have a bit of redness around my nose, so here as well. You want to make sure this concealer, as close as you can, get to your foundation shade as well, so it just blends super seamlessly. I'm going to leave that to sit for a bit just to build up maximum coverage. And then to add some bronzy glow to the skin, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand. Pop this on the outer perimeters of my forehead, here on my cheekbones. And then I like to do a little bit down the nose as well. This is my favourite contour brush at the moment. It's by Real Techniques. I've had it for probably about five years. Probably shouldn't be using it. <laughs> but it's so nice for contour. It blends out like a dream. Like that took me about five seconds. It's blended into the skin beautifully. I always like to do concealer after contour because you can really sculpt your face. I'm using the Lancome All Over Concealer. It's also about one to two shades lighter than my foundation. So it's just going to help brighten the skin. Pop this right here. Not too much either, you don't want to go overboard with this, just a little bit where the darkest part of my under eye is. And then up here, on each side, a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the centre of the forehead. I'm going to use my Hourglass Concealer Brush. This concealer brush is a game changer, I would highly recommend. I'm not blending it out too far from where we placed it as well, you just want to keep it super precise. But less is definitely more with this makeup, like I haven't applied loads and loads of product but i've applied it super precisely and carefully i like to go in with a sponge and just press over everything to make sure everything is super blended especially where we spot concealed because we didn't fully blend that in i don't like to bring a little bit of product onto my eyelids as well just using my sponge just so it's a super super thin layer basically just going to cancel out any sort of redness and veins on your eyelid now all your cream products are on i like to go in with a little bit of setting spray I'm running so low on these, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's one of my all-time faves. So I'm pretty much gonna drench my skin in this. <laughs> oh, she's gone, she's gone. Okay, onto this one. <laughs> now for powder. So if you're under eyes, you wanna keep this super, super bright. So I'd really recommend going in with a very light powder. This is actually a translucent one, but because it's so white, it really does brighten up your under eyes. So this is the YSL All Hours Hyper Finish Powder. And before I use it, I'm gonna go in with my sponge, make sure there are no creases under my eyes or on my eyelids. And I'm just using the edge of my powder puff to grab a bit of powder. Pat any excess off on the back of my hand. And I'm looking up and pressing this right where my under eyes would crease. Bring it up where we put that concealer. Look at the difference that's made. <sighs> I love this stuff. I'm gonna bring a little bit down the side of my nose just to kind of snatch that contour. And I'm putting a little bit around here and just on my upper lip because that's also where I get shiny. And we don't want that. Any leftover on the powder puff, I'm just gonna Pop that onto my eyelids. You can see I'm really not using a lot of powder as well. I feel like a thinner layer does the exact same thing, but it just looks 10 times more natural. Taking a little bit more, putting it on the center of my chin where we put the concealer, and also on the center of the forehead. Okay, and then for the rest of the face, I'm gonna use the same powder, but this is in the shade 02. I'm gonna take this on a powder puff. I'm putting this just here under the bronzer and onto the jawline. I'm really not bringing it far up, like I'm completely avoiding this cheek area. Let's do a little bit on the forehead as well. Next we're going to go in with some powder bronzer. This is the perfect powder bronzer for this look because it's not completely matte. It's the Milani Baked Bronzer in 05 Soleil. I feel like I've used this in so many of my videos, but I just keep going back to it. Basically just dust this where we put our cream contour originally. So on the forehead. And then onto the cheekbones. And as you can see, I'm not swiping this product, I'm patting it into the skin, dusting this down the nose as well. And then a little bit on the eyelids. Now for blush. Oh, my fave palette ever. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. We're basically just gonna mix all of the shades together. And I'm just placing this right on the tops of the cheekbones, just here. Oh, can you see the glow? But we all know Victoria's Secret models are always super 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 glowy so to add even more glow we're going to go in with the iconic london illuminator it's just the original shade and this is extremely glowy so you want to be careful with this i'm just going to squeeze literally the tiniest amount onto the back of my hand and i'm going to take my pinky finger with this do a tiny bit down 
the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the tip and then I'm going to take a different finger and just pat that in. Okay, nose highlighter is literally my favourite thing ever. I just think it looks so pretty. I'll take a little bit on my ring finger, tap off the excess, just place it right on the apples of the cheeks under the eye. So if I smile, like the most fatty part of my cheek, I'm just going to put it there. Then I'm going to take a teeny little detailer brush and do some just under the brow bone. Press that in. And also a little bit on the inner corners. And then to finish off the skin, we're going to go in with the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. I'm going to spray this onto the bottom of my sponge. Actually, just all over the sponge. Oh my god, my mirror is covered in that. <laughs> I've got a different mirror. I'm just going to tap this all over the skin. Honestly, if you have that setting mist, doing it like this and using it on a sponge is 100% the way to go. Because it's so beautiful, but sometimes when you spray it on your skin, it can like come out in blobs, like it's not always a super fine mist. So doing it this way, just make sure you're not ruining any of your makeup. Now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. So this is my new obsession at the moment. It's the Maybelline Builder Brow. I'm pretty sure mine's in the shade Taub. I can't find where it says anywhere, but I'm pretty sure this is the shade Taub. And I'm gonna first go in with the pen side. I'm basically just add a few more hairs just to make my brows look a bit thicker. So I'm just adding them at the front, literally all over my brow. At the front, in the arch, and then down to the tail. And then once I've added as many hairs as I want, I'm going to change to the gel side. I'm basically just going to brush my brows and just fluff them up a little bit. This product is perfect because it's a lot more natural. It doesn't like stick your brows to your head. It just kind of fluffs them up and keeps them in place. Just like that. Like it looks so natural, but it makes so much difference. Right, now onto eyes. I'm going to use this palette. It's the YSL your Mini Clutch Palette. She is gorgeous. I'm gonna go in with this pretty neutral, quite warm toned rosy shade first. I'm basically placing this just on the outer third of the eye and blending it lightly through the crease. I'm also kind of dragging this outwards ever so slightly just to elongate the eye a little bit. Okay, there we go. So you can see it's super, super diffused. And then I'm gonna go in with my smaller fluffy brush and this darker brown shade in the palette. Focus this right close to the lash line on the outer corner of my eye. So I'm really not doing too much with this. It's just gonna add a little bit more depth. For a bit of shimmer, I'm gonna use this top gold shade here from the Makeup by Mario palette. And I'm putting this on the inner two thirds of my eyelid, just here. I'm really not bringing the shimmer past where we put that brown, dark brown eyeshadow. There you go, the most gorgeous shimmery eye ever! For the bottom lash line, you want to take a nude eyeliner. I'm using the Tarte Fake Awake Nude Eyeliner. Run this across your waterline, right into the inner corner. Okay, and then using a small little angled brush, I'm going to go in with the darkest brown shade that we used just on the outer corner of the eye. Make sure to really tap off the excess. And then we're basically going to place this right under where we put the nude eyeliner, just across the bottom lash line. And I'm going to take a teeny tiny fluffy brush, go in with that first shade we used on our crease and just make sure the bottom is super diffused. I feel like this kind of creates like a false bottom lash line. So it just makes your eyes look super big and awake. I'm going in with a super fluffy brush to make sure everything is really, really, really blended. Now for winged liner, I'm going to go in with the NYX, what's this called? Epic Ink Liner. Love this because the nib is so fine. It's just so good for a super precise winged liner. It's going to be hard for me to do on camera, but I'm going to try my best. We're going to start from the outer corner and basically you want to follow your bottom lash line up to where it would naturally extend to and just create a line. I'm going to start from about a third of the way into my eye and just slowly connect. Fill in the gap. To clean it up just that extra little bit, I'm going to take a flat brush. I like to pinch it together at the end and just, this has got nothing on by the way. I'm just kind of pulling that outer corner out a little bit. I don't know why, it just really helps make that wing super sharp. Just like that. And there you go, that is your winged liner. So next up mascara, I'm going to be using the Refi Lash Sculpt Mascara. This is perfect for this because it's really natural and it just adds so much length to your lashes. 
I'm just doing a super light coat of this on the top and on the bottom lashes. For some super fluttery little outer corner lashes, I'm gonna use the I do I do I number 11 light and wispy lashes. I'm gonna cut these as well, just this much along, and then I'm just gluing them on. So I'm kind of sticking it on the wing that I've created. So right on the outer corner, and the end of the lash is literally not placed against my lash line. It's coming like up on the wing. So I'm basically creating an illusion that my eyelashes extend all the way to out here when obviously they don't. Okay, so the lashes are on on both sides. Honestly, it makes the biggest difference. I feel like half lashes are essential if you really want to elongate your eyes. And then this is my fave lip liner at the moment. It's the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Warm Brown. I'm just going to line my lips. I'm going to slightly overline the cupid's bow and the middle of my bottom lip. So I'm going to use a concealer super close to my foundation shade. Just taking a flat brush. I'm going to just clean up the edges of my lips. This is something I literally do in every single video, but the way it makes your makeup look 10 million times better is just unmatched. Like if you're not cleaning up your lips, please try it. And then lipstick, we're gonna use the Lancome Tendre. Okay, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I don't know how to say this shade, but it's the number 250. Look how cool this is as well. I just love it. It's just the most gorgeous nude color ever. It's right in the center of my lips. Because we want to be super, super glossy, I'm going to use the Refi Clear Gloss. And now the fun part, we're going to take out the hair. Take out these rollers. Let's pray they've gone well. I literally haven't put rollers in my hair in so long. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, and there you have it. This is the finished Victoria's Secret Angel makeup. So pretty, I literally love how it turned out. It's so glowy and pretty, and I just feel like it's gonna suit everyone, so please give this a go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I've never said that before, that's weird. But yeah, make sure to do that. And let me know what other videos you guys wanna see from me. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time, bye.